So let's say you got this crusty old motor with a clutch on it that's worth a damn. Okay, rough shape, but you want to take the thing off. Let's say you don't have the correct puller for it. Well, there is a trick. I've never done it before. Done, I've never done it before, but I'm going to try it tonight. It's called the water trick. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick video on how to do the water trick on a primary clutch. I don't have any Polaris pullers. I got a Polaris motor with a clutch that I have a feeling's uh, very seized on there. So we're gonna find out how how good this goes. But I got some water poured down in there. I'm actually gonna pour a little more. Might be a little too much, we'll see. I got a bolt of the correct threads. I don't know, I'm gonna try Teflon tape wrapped all the way up the side of it and see how that goes. Um, yeah, I think you just start it, then run it in with an impact to try to create some hydraulic pressure and pop this clutch off. Like I keep doing that, I just keep spitting my peeling my Teflon tape off, pushing my water out, not getting a good seal. Try again, I guess. That one. If you look here, guys, this was a pretty pretty rusty one rusted on there pretty well um, I actually ended up letting it soak a couple days with PB blaster and then uh, topped it back off with water and wrapped the crap out of this bolt with Teflon tape but as you saw she flew right off there first time doing the water trick <laughs> 